See, it's tough with Brockhampton because like, I feel like I'm making a breakup video right now, but I'm, I'm not. I'm just talking about a band that I have emotions tied to because I grew up with them. But I kind of want to leave emotions at the door for a second and talk about this perception that like, there's a Brockhampton before Amir and a Brockhampton after him. I see and hear the phrase wasted potential thrown around, but with 90% of their career in the rear view, I feel like that is, um, that is no longer, or maybe was ever a based take. Trust me, I was right, I was right there with you. I was like, this guy f***ed it up. It's never gonna be the same again. They were on such a good streak, right? I, we were all saying the same thing. But then, you know, and I'm not saying this in a mean way, I just, I grew up a little bit. And my take on that, along with a lot of other things, changed quite a lot. Okay, I'm gonna drop my old man take on you. Ready? When looked at as a whole, the Brockhampton discography represents what it's like to be born, grow up, age, and die on the internet. Let me show you what I mean. All American Trash, a fun mixtape that was a little rough around the edges, but lots of unique choices 